automatic stabilizers are something the government can kind of fall back on to negate the fluctuations in economic growth, to negate the, uh, the size of the fluctuations in the business cycle. How does it work? Well, what I've drawn here is the economic cycle for you, something that you should all be familiar with. If not, watch my video on the economic cycle to fully understand it. Um, you know there are peaks and troughs, there are booms and there are recessions in the economic cycle. The beauty of automatic stabilizers is that it's a part of fiscal policy that's automatic that doesn't need to be actively changed by government. So let's have a look. Let's take a recession, for example. So, in recession, if we focus in on what's going on in the labour market, it gives us an idea of what's going on with government spending and taxation. So, in, a, in the, kind of the, the heart of a recession, the worst of the recession, there is a lot of unemployment in the economy, a lot of spare capacity, um, there aren't many people in work. So, if we isolate what's going on there in terms of fiscal uh, the fiscal effects, then in recession, government spending naturally is going to rise. The government spending specifically on benefits will rise and more and more people are unemployed. The government needs to spend more on benefits, so automatically government spending will rise. Similarly, automatically, taxation in terms of tax revenue collected by the government is going to fall in recession because there are less people in work. So less people in work, they're going to pay less income tax, obviously. At the same time, Businesses are not going to be making as many profits. They are not going to be as confident in terms of investment. So overall, uh, business profits are going to fall, and therefore the level of corporation tax collected by government is also going to fall. So government spending on benefits will rise, tax revenue collected is going to fall. So automatically, these factors are going to, to some extent, allow aggregate demand to increase. Without the government actively getting involved at all, there are some benefits here from the automatic stabilizers. Let's do the same for a boom. In a boom time, isolate the labour market, what's happening um, in the labour market? Well, there are lots and lots of people in work. It's actually very hard to, to, to find excess labour now because simply everyone is in a job. Everyone's got a job. So, in that sense, government spending on benefits actually decreases. They don't need to spend as much on benefits because people have got jobs. And at the same time, the tax revenue collected increases because more people are in work, they pay more income tax. Firms uh, achieve higher profits, they get higher revenues, which means they're going to pay more corporation tax as a result during a boom time. So these two things are therefore going to uh, reduce aggregate demand and automatically stabilize the economy and prevent the economy from growing too quickly in a boom period. So the point of automatic stabilizers is they reduce the overall fluctuations in the business cycle. They allow the economy to transition on a smooth path of growth rather than suffering these big, big fluctuations in actual growth. So whereas in the red line, that's what might actually happen. With automatic stabilizers as a result, the actual red line, the size of the deviations from the trend rate of growth actually minimizes. So if I do it in black, what we actually see is actual growth not deviating from trend growth as much because the automatic stabilizers reduce the depth of the recession via an automatic increase in aggregate demand because of these factors. And in a boom time, the level of growth automatically kind of stabilizes, it decreases because of the automatic reduction in aggregate demand slightly because of uh, contractionary effects from the, from the fiscal um, policies here, the not really policies, but from the negative effects of the automatic stabilizers. So bear that in mind, automatic stabilizers stabilize the economy automatically without any need for active fiscal policy. But of course, the effects of these can be quite small. So active fiscal policy via these forms in recession and these forms in a boom may still be necessary to actually reduce the overall effects of the recession and to reduce the rampant inflation and rampant growth caused by a boom uh, period. I hope that all makes sense with automatic stabilizers. See you next time. Thank you.